We're doing another travel vlog. Um, today we are in St. Thomas. We're doing um, St. Thomas and St. John on this trip. So yeah, me and my mom just landed in St. Thomas today. This is our first day here. We're gonna be here for four days. Today we just kind of wanted to do like a get acclimated day. So kind of touring the resort. We're staying at the Ritz Carlton here in St. Thomas. It's so pretty. It's like so nice. Everyone's so nice and everything's just so cute. So uh, we came in today and they greeted us with drinks and we got checked in and had some fun. Then we came to the room. I'll show you guys a quick room tour. So this is our room. So first we have the bathroom here with this gorgeous tub and cute robe and slippers. And then these cute mirrors. I look dusty and crusty, okay? Um, and then there's a shower here, and then in here is the toilet. That's it. Cute. The second robe is in there. And then this is the bedroom, comfy beds, and this really cute tall mirror. And I really love this basket. That's like 100% my vibe. And then we have like this area and look they gave me cute balloons and flowers and cake it's my birthday weekend so and a card i don't know what's in there i'll open that later what is this i don't actually what is this melissimato brute i don't know but i'm gonna drink it my cute balloons and my cute flower and this cute rattan lamp, I love that. And then there's this cute view. It's really hot out here. I have like a little lounge nook and then the view of the ocean and some islands. I think that's St. John is where we're going tomorrow. So yeah, the room is super cute. So like I said today, we're just gonna be taking pictures and touring the resort, hanging out here. It's probably our only day to just hang out here because the rest of the days will be pretty like busy out and about. So tomorrow we're gonna be doing a tour of St. John, which is like the sister island um, not too far from here. Um, so we're gonna take a ferry and do a private tour over there and um, visit a few beaches that we have on our list and then um, come back for dinner. The Sunday we're gonna do a private tour here on St. Thomas, um, visit a few more beaches and do some shopping. I'm really excited to do some gold shopping. I'm obsessed with gold and it's supposed to be a lot cheaper here than in like the States or is this considered the States? It's technically the United States, but like, you know, on the mainland, like it's supposed to be cheaper here than there. So I'm really excited to do some gold shopping. We got some good, uh, we got some good recommendations of where to shop for gold. Um, so we're gonna do that on St. John, and then we were gonna do it today here on St. Thomas, but we found out that the stores closed at five, so we're actually gonna switch that to Monday. Um, so yeah, so Sunday we'll do our tour here, and then dinner, my actual birthday is on Sunday, so we'll do a sunset dinner then. And then Monday will be our last day, so just gonna probably wake up, do some shopping, come back and do a massage and pack up and get ready to go. Yeah, I'm super excited to be here with my mom for my birthday weekend. I hope you guys are excited to follow along. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. I just opened the card. Look what it says, a very special happy birthday. I love mom. Aw, that's so cute. She's in the bathroom right now, otherwise I would go show her, but. Aw, I love that. Yeah. 
worked at the Epstein Island. Oh, wow. The smallest one is where he did all his dirty work. He purchased the larger one later on. In 2016, he wanted to put a bridge from the one to the other, but the government won't allow him to. So we are at the Virgin Islands National Park. I think we're hiking up to um, a sugar mill. I don't know, but it's one of the stops on the tour, so we will see. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, you belong. Anywhere you say, anywhere you say. This is what it, uh, one of the best beaches in the world. Yeah. Top 10. Top 10 beaches in the world. And this is Trunk Bay. And it's free today. He said sometimes it costs $17, but not today. So, it works for us. We're at Trunk Bay. It's so pretty. We set up camp at this little station over here by ourselves by these cute boulders and it's so hot it's so pretty out here at the Trunk Bay Beach Shop. I got a bacon chicken sandwich and some chips and a ginger ale. And mommy got the same thing. Cheers. <laughs> we are starving. This is the first thing we've eaten today so I cannot wait to dig in. And I'm so thirsty. You know how like after you swim for a while you're like hungry and thirsty like to the max? Well that's how I feel today. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try this. Oh, there's a pickle too. That's nice. Mommy, do you want the veggies off of here? Uh, I think they're a whole. That's okay. It's gonna be too messy. Okay. I'm gonna get some ice. No, thank you. Move. The bird. Oh my god. <laughs> what do you think? It's decent. I mean, it's, yeah, it's just basic. Yeah, we're just hungry. We're gonna eat this, and then we're gonna chill here at Trunk Bay for a little bit longer. Then we're gonna go to Francis Bay and snorkel. And then go to Cinnamon. Is it Cinnamon Bay or Cinnamon Beach? Cinnamon Bay. Cinnamon Bay. Oh, so they're all bays. Go to Cinnamon Bay and then we'll be about done. We're, we've been here for a couple of hours. So, yeah. Yeah. So we'll probably be here on, on St. John for quite a while. And then we'll head back later on. Hello. So we just made it to Cinnamon Bay. Um, we just left Trunks Bay. The plan was to go from Trunks Bay to Francis Bay to Cinnamon Bay. But we couldn't go to Francis Bay because it's like less popular. So taxis don't just like hang out there. So we wouldn't be able to leave Francis Bay if we were able to get there. And even the taxi drivers there were like, we're not going to take you there anyway. So <laughs> we couldn't go to Francis Bay. Um, we wanted to go there for like light snorkeling. Maho Bay is like the place to do 
snorkeling, snorkeling, like with sea turtles and stingrays, but my mom wasn't trying to do that. So um, we just skipped Francis Bay and came to Cinnamon Bay. So that's where we are now. It's really gorgeous. It's honestly very similar to Trunks Bay. Honestly, I think Trunks Bay was, I like Trunks Bay a little bit better. I mean, it's still obviously super gorgeous here, but there's my mom swimming out there. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna hang out here, do some swimming. Um, it's like raining on and off. Like it'll rain for like 20 seconds and then stop. So there's that. So yeah, we're gonna hang out here, do some swimming here, and then we'll probably catch the ferry and head back after this i'll have to fill you guys in on the whole taxi situation because we started with a private chauffeur and then but it was like super ridiculously expensive and then once we realized that we could catch taxis from the places that we wanted to go we were like can we just cancel like can we just stop right here because it was 75 dollars an hour and a taxi is like eight dollars a person um and it seemed like taxis were everywhere so we canceled him when we got to trunks bay and then at trunks bay they were like we don't go to Francis Bay so but still it wasn't worth $75 an hour to get to go to Francis Bay it was nice but once we realized how the taxis work it just wasn't necessary and it wasn't like cost it didn't make sense financially um so yeah we kind of just dropped him and just paid him for the little while that we did use him um and he was cool and everything but $75 an hour and we were sitting at um Trunks Bay we were there for a good two two to three hours we were there for a long time so it would have been 75 dollars times three i don't know what that is right now off my head but it would have been that much money just for him to be sitting there waiting for us so we were like if we keep him we're gonna like if we go through with this service we're gonna feel rushed like we're not gonna be able to just sit here and swim and relax because we're gonna be like we're paying 75 dollars an hour so we told him that you know we decided that we kind of just would rather take taxis instead of the private chauffeur thing and i mean he was understanding He's gotta be, like he probably was like, I just feel like we were the only ones that were doing that. Like I don't think anybody was doing that. And he probably was like, these girls are dumb, but I'm about to cash out. So we realized how silly that was and we canceled it and cut our losses um, pretty early, so that's good. Um, but yeah, Cinnamon Bay is just like a very chill, beautiful, long beach. Um, but the vibe is similar to Trunks Bay. So yeah, I'm gonna go get in the water and swim and then um, we'll probably catch our taxi back. So we did our gold shopping. I'll fill you guys in later on that. I got some really cute pieces. And then um, we took the ferry back to St. John just to pick up something. And then we um, decided we would go to Koki Beach, but we got there and as you saw, it just kind of wasn't the vibe. Mm. Okay, thank you. So this is Koki Beach. It's definitely like more fun. Well, I don't really know if you consider this fun, but it's definitely more crowded here and like a lot of people. I don't know if this is a good So yeah, we're gonna finish up here and then head back to the resort and eat some food. My birthday dinner, because it's officially my birthday. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later. We're back at the room. And look what they left me. I already <laughs> took like a huge bite of this, but they left me another chocolate cake. And this one's really good because the first one they left was kind of like fudge, but this is just like regular chocolate cake. And the little happy birthday chocolate. And they left me another birthday card. Happy birthday, Eleni. They a birthday. Oop. 
be filled with happiness, joy, and love as you celebrate another year. Have a wonderful stay. Best regards to the ladies and gentlemen at the Ritz Carlton. Like, that's so sweet. And then I have the first card that was in here on the first day. So, just so sweet. And they left this. What is this? Oh, sparkling water. Fancy. So we're back from Megan's Bay. Megan's Bay was really nice. Um, we, so, okay, let me just give you a rundown of the whole day because it's just been like, it's been a busy day and I haven't really like vlogged at all. So we started out gold shopping because remember that was one of the like, one things that I was like super excited about was to shop for gold. And um, one of the guys on, oh, I'm just gonna be doing my makeup while I'm talking to you guys because I'm getting ready for my birthday dinner. So I'm just gonna be doing my makeup and giving you a rundown of the day. So we ran into this guy on the ferry yesterday and we were asking him like, where do you shop for gold? Cause he had on a lot of pretty gold. And um, he like, told us these few spots on Main Street here in St. Thomas that he likes. So we um, went to Main Street today to shop some of those stores and most of the stores were actually closed. And I think somebody did tell us that the stores were closed on Sunday, but I think we just forgot. But anyway, some of the stores were open. So the first store we went to was the one like right where our taxi dropped us, dropped us off at. And um, we saw like some really pretty earrings in there. Um, but obviously it was the first store, so we were like, we're obviously gonna shop around. And um, so we did and we shopped around and we ended up finding one of the recommendations that um, the guy from the ferry gave us. And she had some really cute stuff. I ended up buying this gorgeous bangle. I've been looking for like a solid gold, like heavy bangle. So this is a bangle that I wear like all the time. Um, this was a birthday gift for my mom last year, I think. Um, so like this is my everyday jewelry for this hand and this bangle is really cute, but it's hollow. So I really wanted a solid one. So I found this one today. And can we just take a second? Like it's so cute and it's like heavy. So like a super quality piece. So super excited to find that. Um, so I ended up splurging and got the bracelet from that store. My mom also helped pay for it too for a birthday gift. So that was super nice. Um, and then the lady that worked at that store was actually sisters. Well, she was the sister to the guy who worked at the first store we went to. Um, so afterwards we just kept shopping around we ended up going back to the first store to look at the earrings again. And we were like, First of all, that store didn't have the West Indian bangles like these. So we thought it was innocent to be like, hey, we saw your sister, she had the bangles, you know, we got a bangle. And he just had like a really nasty attitude about it. Um, and basically told us to get out. He was like, I don't compete, um, blah, blah, blah. And we were like still looking at the earrings and he was like, you basically don't have the option to get it anymore, so like get out. And so that was really honestly scary. Cause like, first of all, why are you being mean? And are you now gonna send someone to come rob us? Cause you know, I just got this very expensive bangle that I'm just wearing. Um, and so yeah, we were like, okay, well, we obviously don't wanna purchase anything. Not that we have the option anymore, but like we don't wanna purchase anything from there anyway, because he was mean. So we went back to a different shop and found some cute stuff and I ended up getting these really pretty earrings, these gold hoop earrings that are like, they just look so good with all my other earrings. And they're just like earrings that I wear every day. They go with all my jewelry. They're simple and they're like the perfect size and I feel like they um, fit my head really cute. Like they look good on my head. So I got those. And then my mom found some really cute solid gold earrings as well. Um, so yeah. And I didn't want to vlog while we were gold shopping because it was just so much going on and our hands were full because we had everything for the day with us. So I'm, I'm lugging around my beach towel and my big beach hat and like all this other stuff. And I'm also trying to stay cautious and like not make ourselves a target um, while we're doing all this expensive shopping. So 
yeah i didn't want to pull out my camera and that just be one extra thing to have to keep up with and also one extra reason to make ourselves a target so yeah that's why i didn't vlog but anyway that's why i'm filling you in now on you know that whole experience but um yeah overall it was a good experience i'm just like really happy i found the pieces that i found because these are literally like lifetime pieces and i'll wear them for all eternity um my mom has some similar west indian bangles and she's had them for 26 years and literally has never taken them off in 26 years so i want to be like her and yeah so got those bangles this foundation is I got a tan, okay? And honestly, this foundation was already too light for me just from being outside for the amount that I have this summer. It's, I'm too tan for this, but we're gonna just, just trust the process, okay? Um, Mommy, you know you can come in here any moment, right? No, you go ahead. Mommy, no, I, I wanna be, I'm gonna step back here. Okay, but I'm gonna dance the whole time I'm getting dressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks really cute, though. I need to, okay. Um, let's see. So yeah, so after our gold shopping, we took a taxi back to St. John, or not a taxi, we took a taxi to the ferry and a ferry back to St. John because my mom left her Ray-Ban sand, or not sandals, her Ray-Ban sunglasses there and they were kind enough to hold them for us. So we went back to pick them up and then came right back to um, St. Thomas to um, do our activities for the day. And really the only activities we had planned were beaches and gold shopping. So we decided that with the amount of time that we had, we wanted to do a beach that was different from what we've already done. We've done like the beautiful relaxing show beaches we obviously still want the beach to be beautiful but like we wanted to do like a different vibe so that's why we decided to try Koki beach but i forgot to mix this with foundation this concealer is way too light if i don't mix it with my foundation whatever so anyways um that's why we decided to go to Koki beach but it was just like too lit okay it was too lit. So we immediately <laughs> got right back in the taxi and we decided to go to Megan's Bay. Let's pronounce Megan's Bay. Megan's? Megan's Bay, yeah. Oh, did I say Magnus? Megan's Bay. <laughs> By this time it was like, like I said, we were there for the sunset. So it was starting to get dark and like taxis kind of are not as abundant after a certain time. So this lady, was kind enough to offer to give us a ride in her personal car um she was also giving this other couple a ride that she met on the beach and they were all so sweet it was like a another mom and daughter duo and they um they were like yeah just you know come with us we're giving them a ride and they're like close to where you guys are so um yeah so yeah, she's we, the director of visitors tours and safety yeah so like it her job basically is to like be helpful and she kind of just like exudes that in her everyday life as well because she was so nice and um so we rode with them and we were just like chatting obviously they're from here so they were like giving us the scoop and we asked what their favorite beaches were here and she actually said megan's bay so that was like really relieving because i was stressed that we didn't go to the best beach um but According to them, like that, that is one of the, you know, nicer beaches. It's her favorite beach, her and her daughter's favorite beach. So that was nice. Um, and then the other couple riding with us was a couple from Brooklyn and they were really cool. And they were staying at Margaritaville. So we dropped them off there. And then um, she took us back to our place here, the Ritz Carlton, and we exchanged Instagrams and everything. So they were just a really nice and warm family. like. Just really warm and welcoming. Just like super nice. Did you tell them that we saw the jewelry guy on the beach? Oh yeah. Crazy enough, the jewelry guy who was mean to us and basically said get out after we were shopping around, he was at the exact same beach as us in the exact same spot at the exact same time. And 
I saw him when I was like walking towards the water, but I didn't really register who he was. And he was like, he said something, but I couldn't really hear or understand. And um, I was just like, hey, how you doing? And kind of just like went about my business. And then he said something to my, to my mom. And mom was like, didn't we just see you at the jewelry shop? And she was like, and you were being mean to us? <laughs> and um, what did he say? He was just like, no, no worries, I wasn't being mean. It's just like a man's out for himself. Basically. Yeah. So that was just hilarious. Like, <laughs> what are the chances that this guy is here at the exact same exactly. beach as us? Exactly. Um, so yeah, that was really funny. But yeah, it's just been a really good day. We, I'd say we did everything we planned to do. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Right now we're just getting ready for dinner. My birthday dinner. That's why I'm putting on makeup. I haven't really worn makeup this trip because first of all, it's hot. Like it is really hot and we've been in water every day anyway. So it's just like, I don't have the patience for it. Um, but it's my birthday dinner. So yeah, I'm trying to, you know, get cute. So this is the look. My hair is super frizzy. Um, I actually did my hair myself for the first time. And I mean, it's done what it needed to do for the trip. Haven't had any braids fall out. Um, it's just really frizzy. And I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna take it out tonight, honestly, because when I get back tomorrow, I have to go into work the very next day. So, and I can't go to work with my hair this frizzy. So, yep, hopefully I can get my hands on some scissors and take this out tonight, but for now, this is the vibe. Hey guys, so this is our last day here. I didn't take you guys to dinner. Um, it was just a lot. Again, like we got there and the wait, we had a reservation, but the wait was really long. And then like people were getting seated ahead of us. It was, we, it was a lot going on. So I didn't really vlog, but the food was really good. Um, and then I came back to the room and immediately <laughs> took my hair out with limited resources. I had no scissors, no comb, no brush, nothing really, because I planned to just keep my twist in, but it was time for them to go. I was tired of it, and um, I just felt like it was dirty. I've been in the ocean for like two days, so I just wanted to get them out and wash my hair, and I just used like the hotel shampoo. Um, I mean, whatever, I just needed my hair clean. So today, we leave in a few hours, so yeah, I took a couple pictures on the balcony. I'm probably going to head down to the beach just to chill for a minute and then come back and get packed. But so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.